Hi everyone. So me and my lovely Tatum wanted to do um, take three of this video. I think it's take three, maybe take four. Um, <laughs> but we wanted to get together and just um, do a little lively conversation for you guys, give you a little bit of inspiration um, during this craziness right now uh, when it comes to travel and also for your business and overcoming your fears when it, uh, in terms of, you know, how to, you know, take those leaps and get out of that rut that you might be feeling of, you know, there's so much stuff that's really overwhelming at the moment that um, we kind of get in our own heads, but we often forget that, you know, we have business to run or dreams to make or goals to reach um, and how to, you know, keep that mindset right. So we're going to talk things, travel and business and uh, fun here with Tatum and I for the next <laughs> few minutes. So we are uh, fun right now. <laughs> and Tatum is um, one of the travel coach, uh, fearlessness uh, gurus <laughs> to go for. So she always has some really great words of inspiration that I wanted to bring to you guys because uh, I know she inspires me so much. So uh, Tatum, what you got for us? Okay, so being the fearless person that I've kind of always been, you know, uh, as I said yesterday, having a name like Tatum or I'm sure like Sahara, you know, I always have kind of felt like I've had to go against the grain. And that's just something that I've always pretty much have, has been engraved in my life uh, ever since I was younger. I've always just like taken risks and dyed my hair crazy colors. And I've just always been wanting to be outside of the norm. Um, and that also has translated into my business and into all the travels you know um we both have been on lots of solo trips um sadly not together but we'll do that eventually one day one day, <laughs> one day. um so we've been on solo trips and we've just always been willing to get out of our comfort zone and i think sahar really helped me kind of hone in on I've just always been an adventurer. I've just always been someone who has wanted to push my boundaries, catapult me out of my comfort zone so that I can just, you know, be better in my personal life and my professional life. And I really think that right now is, is a time where people, they have fear and fear is literally around us all the time. Now it might seem like a little bit heightened, I guess, right now because of the unknown, but just like with travel, just like with really anything, you going for your dreams, it's all going to be unknown. Um, so what I kind of came up with um, to help people get over their fears is my add a girl approach. So it's basically like a virtual pat on the back of showing you uh, ways to get out of your comfort zone and to be better and to do better in your professional and personal life. So the first is A, which is adventure. And like I said before, adventure is an amazing way to break through those fears. Um, and I know right now it seems like, okay, what kind of adventure could I even be doing? Um, but you know, everything's going to shift. Things are going to get back to normal. Um, but adventure doesn't mean that you have to take $5 a day and go backpacking Europe um, or Southeast Asia, or you don't have to go jump out of planes for things to be considered an adventure. Uh, you know, once things kind of get back to the way that they were, you can take a cooking class that you've always wanted, or even right now online, you know, a lot of people have this free time. There's a lot of you know, apps and things that are offering free resources and free, like I know one called Skillshare, where you can learn about, um, you know, doing stuff on the computer or web design or all yeah, of those. An adventure basically is just getting out of your comfort zone and doing something that is going to teach you something or learn something about yourself or like you said, like learn a new skill or, you know, even travel on its own. That you've always wanted to yeah. kind of so many things we put on the back burner and uh, whether it's in life or fun or, you know, business. And we are so fearful of taking that risk, you know, even a venture of, you know, investing in yourself. That's a whole adventure in its own. Mm -hmm. being, you know, right. People are just, that's a whole adventure. I mean, even just starting a business, that's a whole adventure in itself. It's something new and exciting, especially if you have a passion for it. 
Uh, but I think people have just gotten so comfortable with doing the bare minimum that they're okay with being mediocre, you know, in their life. They just want to stick to the same routine. Um, but I read a quote saying the things that we want the most are actually what we fear the most. And that's because we're scared if we move forward with, you know, our passions and our dreams that we're going to get hurt and we're going to fail. And yeah, yeah that's, I think that's, I think that's a lot because we hold, uh, as people, we put a lot of expectations on results. So we expect a certain result, And if we don't get that, we feel like we failed or we feel insecure or we feel, you know, disappointed in ourselves or, uh, in the whole situation. And then we have regret. And then there's this, this, you know, tumbleweed of emotions. But if you were to remove that expectation of a result, when, where would the fear, the fear wouldn't have a place to harbor. We wouldn't right. have the ability to, you know, because if there's no expectations, you can't fear what the possibility might be because you're open to anything. And right. that's huge. any path that it takes you on. Yeah, we come from the travel background, so which is a huge part of you know our audiences and our network and those we are connected with is that we go on these adventures as travelers without expectations because right. as you know as traveler when you travel things happen all the time. A journey <laughs> is never a vacation, a trip, a journey, a backpacking experience, anything is never how you plan it to be. Those right. itineraries can be thrown out the window because look at what happened now. You know, I actually just came back a week early from my trip and had a big event canceled that I didn't expect for. Um, and I it's never do. Yeah, you just never know. So when you remove that um, that limitation uh, with that expectation or of results, uh, you are going to be lessening that ability for fear to exist. Um, and that's also with business. If you expect a certain result in your business without taking the full journey first, that could transform it into something you never really thought it could be, which is how a lot of these amazing companies that are super successful are now they started like this and turned into this look at Facebook look at Amazon you know nothing as successful as it is started how it originated or resulted how it originated right exactly so you can't like do yourself a favor and just like remove expectations on anything and yeah. just go with it you know just take the risk take the leap and invest time, money, energy, and everything into it. So that's all part of your adventure. And that's really good because that really takes me into the next point of the Atta Girl, which is the T, and that is trust. And I always say we put the us in trust. Like we have to trust ourselves. We have to trust the process that we're going through. Like you said, removing those expectations, knowing that you are worthy enough, you are smart enough, you have the right resources and tools like you have a message for people to hear and services to give. Um, and there is someone out there who is searching for that. And if you don't trust yourself in the process, no one's going to buy shit from you. <laughs> you know, no one's going to yeah. want to invest in you if you don't even trust in what you do. Right. Yeah. That's a huge, um, you know, a lot of people have um, this inferior complex when it comes to what they do or imposter syndrome of what they do when uh, if this is your passion own it and run with it and you don't need credibility from any outside forces or sources <clears throat> to tell you that your passion what you're passionate about and doing <clears throat> isn't good enough you know that's why it's like trusting yourself trust in the process trust in your own journey and trust that everything is going to come to you at the right time when it's meant to come to you right. um, and building that likability factor and that trust factor is huge especially when you're growing a business because like you said no one's going to buy from you no one's going to follow you on your platforms no one's going to share your content no one's going to talk about you if they don't like and trust what you do <clears throat> so but that trust starts from within starting yeah. with, you know, how you trust yourself and what you're doing and trust that you will be able to figure it out and it, and it will happen as it's supposed to be. Um, right. it's, you know, having a business and growing a business and running a business is hard. Same thing with yeah. traveling. Trust that you're able to, you know, go on this journey and you're going to be okay. 
trust yeah. that you, you know, are strong enough to get through any hurdles that you face, any outcomes you are faced with, you know, as a solo traveler yourself. Like, I'm sure you've had a lot of experiences like that too. And just trusting that like, Hey, I can get through this. Right. Yeah. I mean, I've definitely had some mental breakdowns, but you know, through going through all of that, I, I almost see, especially, you know, those big adventures, those journeys that I've been on when I come back to everyday life, I'm like, I'm a badass. I can literally do anything. I just, you know, got through this situation while traveling in a foreign country where people don't speak my language. And now I'm back here and I'm having to make a decision. This is easy peasy. You know, it, it also helps gain your, it, it molds your character and it helps you gain confidence and you literally radiate confidence and your clients and stuff will be able to see that. But if you don't trust and you don't have that confidence, um, just like the whole authenticity thing, people are going to know if you're not being authentic, if you're not kind of tapping into your personality and who you are, if you're just trying to make a buck, you know, people are going to see that. Um, and I think that is good going into my last part of add a girl, which is action. And it's just not just any action, but it's messy action. It's starting before you're ready. It's doing things that you have to do before they're perfect because we've always said there's no time of being perfect like no one's perfect it's never going to be the right time it's fine if sometimes the audio is a little crinkly or you know the the picture isn't the best but if you have a story to tell and you trust in that story and you have all these experiences then people won't care, you know, they want the value that you're bringing to them. Uh, yeah. And I trust me, if I never, if I waited for my business to me to feel like I was ready to put my travel coaching business out there to put my, um, a travel wellness that I talked with corporate about out there. If I ever waited for my story to be fully crafted and my offer to be fully designed, then I would never have began because there's no place so perfect. And like we talked about, I come from a tra uh, an artist background and I do a lot of art and paintings and stuff. And when I finish a piece, I'm like, oh, well, you know, it looks good. I'm done painting it. And people are like, oh, it's amazing. I'm like, well, I can do it. I don't feel like it's perfect. I could, there's so many things I see that I can tweak and change and add and take away that as an artist standpoint, my craft is never done and that's the same thing when it comes to your business there's no perfect time to start it and it's always going to be transforming you can always you know you're always going to be adding to it it's going to be evolving over time um but you have to start somewhere and taking that action is is the first step of doing something if that right. I, I can't tell you how many times i've work with people who are like, well, I'm so afraid to make my website go live because it doesn't look great, you know, right. or I haven't put that blog out because I want five posts first and I want them to sound perfect before I get them out. You know, send that one post out, put that live button on your site. You can always change it. I promise you what yeah. you start with is not anything going to be what you finish with in any sense. Because then you can look back later on and you're like, I did press play on that first one. And that has what gotten me to maybe the 50th post or the hundredth episode or, and then you can go back and you can listen to your own journey and be like, okay, I didn't have the best quality here or this or that, but people who really care about you and your message and the things that you have to say, they will be following you until the end. As long as you again, trust in the things that you're telling them, trust that you are able to provide them with the services that you say or the value that you give and you'll be good. You'll be yeah. Good. And it's just like, uh, it's just never going to, you don't know what's going to come of it and everything's a learning lesson. So if you never took the first step, you're never able to make the first mistake and you're never going to learn that first lesson. Um, and we're in, you know, there's so many people are in coaching businesses or consultants or some sort of service where you help other people, um, in some way. And people are going to come to you for guidance and support and advice and experience. And if you, and all of these mistakes that we make and all these steps that we take just add to 
our ability to help others right. um, yeah. prevent that or make better decisions or whatnot. So it all just builds what we have, but you can't limit yourself and prevent yourself from putting yourself out there and starting. And that's a huge thing that we also wanted to talk about is being able to become more visible in your business and more visible and sharing your story uh, with the world. We as business owners have something to share with others, whether it's a product, a service, a, a program, a movement we have that we started, um, a mission to, uh, to talk about or a story to tell. And maybe you're an author, a, a coach of some sort, um, even a travel agent, we all have different perspectives on what we do. And we all believe so much in ourselves, but it's hard. We limit ourselves sometimes from putting that out to the world in a way that we deserve it and our business deserves it because of like what we talked about, fear. And right. we don't trust the process and we don't trust ourselves enough and we don't trust our journey. And it's a whole adventure that is scary to us. Um, so being able to put yourself out there and become more visible is something that can bring so much benefit to your business and to yourself because you want to be able to impact people on a greater scale and help more people. So well, and we, and we said yesterday that what's the point of having a business if no one knows that you are running a business? There, there's literally no point. You have to know if you want to make money and you want to sell, make sales, people need to know that you exist. Right. People need to know what you have. And telling your story, you don't know who you can reach that resonates most with you, who's going to now follow you or right. talk, tell someone else about you who might buy your product or your whatever it is that you're offering. Um, if you keep this all to yourself, you might as, not, well, you might as well not have a business because right. it's not going anywhere because you're not spreading the message. You're not spreading the awareness. Well, and we said it's doing a disservice to people because there are others out there. You don't know if they're watching or not who need the value that you're giving or the service that you're providing. And if they don't know that you exist, you're doing a disservice to them by not allowing them to hear what you have to say or your mission or getting them involved in your movement. Or, you know, there are people out there who are seeking people like us or like you and <clears throat> it's important to get visible to put your shit out there and get yeah, it out there say, say you know say that it exists and say how you can help people and what your mission is and why you're doing it and what transformation you got in your life that led you to this point that now now you want to help people in the way that you do um there's different ways to get visible like showing up on social media and on your favorite platforms or on YouTube and in videos and in content. Uh, but something that also has been super effective for myself, um, and I know Tatum has got a taste of this recently too, is getting more media exposure, media opportunities. Um, a huge, uh, when I first started my business, um, I was at that point that I shared with you guys that I was not my I was not clear on my messaging. I was I was struggling internally of how to differentiate my dual business, how to um, deliver content in a way that targeted my different audiences, how to share my story and what parts of my story I should share. Uh, Cause I felt like I had, you know, I went to over 84 countries and I had such a long journey over decades and uh, so many different experiences. I didn't know what were the important parts to talk about. And I got so overwhelmed. I would always just clam up and not share anything. Um, and I decided to take the leap and do a program that helped me narrow my messaging and figure out how I can spread my message to my ideal audiences in a way that was authentic and strategic and beneficial for my business. Um, and that I'm sure you guys have seen throughout the past year, a lot of my media wins that I've been sharing of being in things like mentions in Forbes and Business Insider and Yahoo yeah, Finance and different travel publications, um, and which has also brought to me a lot of opportunities like speaking opportunities and collaborations and partnerships. And a lot of people have reached out and been like following my journey and saying how inspired they are. But I'm telling you, it's because I've been putting myself out there and media has been a huge, huge component of that. 
I know uh, Tatum has some really exciting uh, media wins coming up and some that she had with just a few points that I've been sharing with her through my own experience. So um, she's been able to, you have what um, New York Times travel section um, featured. In their, in their print and their yeah. magazine. Um, and incredible, then, which is quite rare in print nowadays. Right. I know. <laughs> Something tangible that I can hold on to forever. Um, and then also um, other travel publications like Travel Awaits. And then I had, you know, people reach out to me to be on their podcast, um, which I still have a few that are going to be trickling out very soon. Um, plus people who are coming to me to ask me about, you know, my journey or my life or the one about Las Vegas, right? Las Vegas, because I know I love Las Vegas. <laughs> and it just, it makes me feel so good to know that like, once you get over that first step, like that first little hump of sharing something with someone, then you're like, okay, this is, this is like a walk in a park. Now I just need to find as many people. It almost becomes like an internal competition of okay, I did this. Now I want to be in this. Now I want to share my create like a dream media list of like your top publications and outlets that you want to be on. So maybe you want to be on certain TV segments or TV shows of your, um, that you watch and you envision yourself up there being the expert in your field on the morning segment of your local TV news, um, or in Oprah magazine or on a feature on Forbes or um, whatever you're or on like Tony Robbins podcast. Um, these are big media wins that are all achievable, but it's just like one step first that you have to take. And, you know, and it and it's all comes like with, with, with anything, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. And then the it's, more yeah, it's, skill, it's practice. Yeah. Right. But right. if you don't start and you don't. Right first pitch or do the things that you need to do to get that first foot in the door, then you're just going to be winging it. And that's going to make your business last or your business journey is going to be a hell of a lot longer than if you were to. I cannot you know, imagine if I never joined, uh, worked with my media mentor, Selena Sue, if I've never started working with her, I can't imagine where my business would be and how delayed I would be because in just the year of being in her program in Pack Millions and working with her and her media experts and being in over 40 plus media major media outlets and the opportunities that it has brought to me and the credibility it has built for me is has been so helpful so I credit so much to that for where I am in my business and how fast it has scaled um and it just shows that there's strategy behind it. It's not just throwing spaghetti at the wall and pitching to anyone and everyone to see what sticks because there's an art form to it. Not everyone accepts guest posts. Not everyone um, is your ideal audience. Um, you know, some have, you know, do I pitch full articles? Do I pitch topics? Like who do I pitch to? Who on the, the mass has a team of editors? Um, stuff like that. So how do I reach out to people? There's, it's a technique and these are things that I've learned and these are some of the things I shared with Tatum and she already had been getting some uh, media wins just by the small bits that I had learned through my media mentor. So, right. um, so that's why we also wanted to talk about is because I hope that you guys are joining us um, tonight, April 1st, as well as two options for tomorrow, April 2nd. My media mentor, Selena Sue, is holding um, a free masterclass all about publicity. She gives you some of those tips that um, I've shared with Tatum and then some, so much more. Um, and then if you're super interested in taking your business to the next level through media opportunities, today is really exciting because it's April 1st um, through April 8th. Open the door for Impact Millions will be open starting today, Selena Sue is inviting you during this week only to enroll into Impacting Millions. Um, and she's actually offering some really great fast action bonuses for those who sign up early. So that means you want to sign up today. Um, but join us in our masterclass. The links to the masterclass and to enroll in Impacting Millions are in the link in my bio on Instagram, Tatum's bio on Instagram, as well as uh, all over my Facebook page or send one of us a message. We'll send it to you. Um, if you aren't, even if you're not interested in enrolling in a program, that's okay. Take, join us in the masterclass. Tate and I will be there. Uh, there's going to be so many great notes that you can start implementing right away and start, um, fulfilling your media win list. Um, I know I have so much more to work forward to, um, 
this year with my media, I know I want to land a TED Talk. I know I want to be an entrepreneur uh, magazine. There's so many more that I have on my list that I know that Cindy's going to help me accomplish because she's helped me so much already. Um, but Tatum, I have some exciting bonuses to offer you guys. Um, if you do choose to take the leap and join Impacting Millions and join this amazing community of inspiring men and women who run businesses and are doing some crazy, amazing things in the media. Um, and one is that we are inviting you on a um, VIP invite to our um, Women's Rise and Travel uh, Master Fine event. Uh, don't worry, the date and location has not been chosen yet. We will do so when traveling is safe and responsible to do again. But this is going to be an amazing, amazing um, event that unlike any other for women in business and women in travel that Tana and I are putting together. So you're going to get a VIP invite. That's for the 10 first time people who sign up through us. Um, and then number two is that you get full enrollment to my travel coaching program. Um, it's super exciting because it is being transformed at the moment into the only travel coaching uh, certification program on the market. Um, and it's more than just learning how to become a travel coach. It's how to integrate your love and passion for travel to better serve your clients and make their experiences and their life and their businesses even better. Um, so uh, you'll be, the price for that is actually going up after doors close for Impacting Millions. Um, so you, this is a great way to get in for free. Um, number three is Lovely Tatum is holding um, an incredible group coaching strategy call on social media, everything, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, Pinterest that you can imagine. She's an expert in this field. Um, you're going to want to have this, uh, to take this group coaching session with her because you are going to want to know what platforms to show up on, how to show up on them. Um, every platform is different. Every audience is different. Your audience is different. You want to use strategy behind where you put your messaging in your context and how to show up on them and which ones to show up on. Um, you're going to learn all about that with her. And then our very last uh, bonus for joining Impacting Millions through one of us, and our link is going to be a one-on-one -on -one private uh, business consultation with me. I've had a lot of people reaching out to me asking for advice and you know, if I have time to talk with them, and I'm more than happy to do so, but my schedule is filling up, and that's going to end soon. So I would love to have this one-on-one -on -one with you. You can pick my brain, get my full attention, and eyes on your business and your ideas and whatever it is, questions that you have. So there are four bonuses. I myself am a proud affiliate of Selena Sue's Impacting Millions, a student in a program, and now a new student mentor in this year's program. So you're going to be working even more with me, um, making your media wins uh, list, checking them all off, getting those media logos on your website um, and your faces in those publications. But I'm super excited. Are you, Tatum? Yes, I am super excited. I've been dreaming of all the, all the media wins that I want to conquer this year. So... Yeah, do you have um, one that you have, one or two that you have in mind that you want to try to reach by um, the end of 2020? Uh, I think, I, I wouldn't necessarily say even a publication, of course, like Forbes has always just kind of been on my list, um, but more so one of the bigger um, uh, podcasts, I have like a whole list of you know, ones that have a lot of followers and ones that don't have as many followers. I think I'm more willing to do what I can to like get it in front of as many people yeah, as possible. Yeah, and that's, that's what you should be doing. It's called, you know, approaching the low hanging fruit because you never know who will be listening to that podcast or where that can lead to. A lot of people grow their email lists and their, um, you know, offers to their products. Um, Quite rapidly through smaller audiences, you know, smaller podcasts and stuff. Smaller, so I would definitely encourage that. Well, and it kind of helps you, you know, if, if you're not really used to being on podcast or writing for big publications, yeah, exactly. it helps you the format and what people are asking for. And, you know, if something wasn't to work out, at least you didn't, you know, get shit on kind of by a big media outlet, but a smaller one wouldn't be as bad. Yeah, and it takes, and it takes practice, you know, being on podcasts and getting, putting yourself out there. Like you said, it's scary. It can be fearful. Um, one of my clients in my program recently was on um, a her very first podcast interview, and she was so nervous, and she said, can you take a listen? I'm saying um too many times. Like, what do you think? And I said, yeah. you, sound, you sound fantastic, you know, and we get in our heads and we limit ourselves because we expect a certain result, like we're talking about, but... Um, yeah 
we're thinking of it being perfect. Like we're all human beings. When that record sign comes on or that little red light comes on, it's a little bit scary to a lot of people unless you've been doing it for a while. Like even for me, being even, as fearless as I am. Yeah, but even people who, and this is quite, it can seem ironic, but um, I shared my story recently when I was at the Global Business Travel Association and I put myself out there to go and talk to all these big companies and pitch them my um, travel wellness um, program ideas. But I went on stage with um, Judy Holler, which is, I told you about, Liz Fear is uh, my homeboy, is her book, she's a published author and a global speaker. And this woman talks about fearlessness and she talks on stages but she still shares. She still gets nervous. She still gets those butterflies to get on stage in front of people. So of all people, you'd be like, oh no, she's got it in the bag. She's been doing it forever. She's a girl. She's a master. It's messaging, but it's natural. Nerves are a natural reaction for us, but it is something that should feed us with, uh, right. you know, drive and motivation. Um, and I know yeah, that's so like fear. fear is natural. Like if we didn't have fear, we'd be going and playing in oncoming traffic. Yeah. Not worrying if we got hit or not. And right. it's there for a reason. Those nerves are there for a reason, but that kind of just shows you, okay, fear is here. Now I'm going to push through that fear. You know, it kind of points you in the right direction of, okay, this is something that scares me. It is something that's going to get me out of my comfort zone. That means I definitely need to do it. You know, there, there are certain situations where, you know, you kind of go into fight or flight or like survival mode. And yeah, I mean, if you see a big bear, don't walk towards it and be like, I'm fearless. You know, <laughs> there, there are certain it's things. But, sense too. <laughs> right. But the fight or flight has kind of been counterproductive in like everyday life because we kind of come to a crossroads of I'm scared. Should I move forward? And then we just make all these excuses to where, to why we don't. So getting out of that whole fight or flight mode, especially like within your business in your personal life, right. uh, like you said, ha just having common sense, like don't be out being stupid, but there are things that are really going to scare you and you just have to say, okay, I'm going to go for it. It doesn't matter. What's the worst that could happen? Will I die? Well, if you, if the answer is yes, then okay, you probably shouldn't move forward. But if it's not, and you might lose some followers or lose some uh, customers or clients or whatever, like you, you want to move forward in your business. Yeah, but you're, if you're moving forward in an authentic way, even if people, you know, you lose a couple followers or people don't buy your product. They weren't your ideal client anyway. Right. They're not your ideal anyways. So as long as you're staying authentic and true to yourself and spreading um, your messaging in a way that resonates with your truth, um, that's all that matters. And that's all that really carries you. And that's something that's super important in any visibility that you get, any media opportunities that you get, is that you're doing it in a very authentic way um, and showing up on platforms that matter and that are relatable to your audience and to your mission in general. And that's something that Selena Sue shares a lot about because um, there's so many different outlets to choose from. And sometimes people just want to go and be on all of them anywhere and everywhere. And that's not ideal because not only does it take a lot of your time and energy and pitching, you know, is take is you know takes time, but you're not really going to get the um, return on your time and energy if you are spreading yourself so thin across different platforms that don't have your ideal audience or um, right. and also, and most likely it's not going to be accepted um, by editors because it doesn't fit their their uh, their messaging or what they represent. Um, so check that all out. Um, join us tonight. We are going to be in the masterclass on April 1st, and as well as I will be showing off on the master two choices to choose from uh, tomorrow on April 2nd. Join Impacting Millions if you are the person who is ready to break out of your comfort zone, take the leap, invest in yourself and your business what other time than right now to focus 100 percent on yourself and on your business and on your clients and on what you've created so far um and you know stop keeping it all to yourself because it's not why you designed it all in the first place it's not why you started this journey share it with the world so that you can 
you know, grow your business and impact people in a way that you're meant to do so. Um, and even if you don't feel ready, remember, I didn't feel ready before I took the leap and I didn't feel ready before I pitched the people. They start when they're not ready. They're not, they let go of those expectations. They're not afraid to fail. They're not afraid to look stupid. They're not afraid to go against the grain. People might laugh at you. And I know actually Judy, after listening to her messages and stuff, people are already going to judge you. They already judge you no matter what you do. You could, you know, have the fanciest dress or the best hair or whatever. And still someone's not going to like the color. And more so you're judging yourself. I'm not, you're judging yourself and saying, I'm not good enough to do this. I'm not good enough for my story to be heard. And that's not true. Everyone's story has a purpose to it and put purpose behind that by spreading that out there in a way that is going to um, help people and because you just don't know and your products your service whatever it is that you've created and you want to get out to other people really think about the power of publicity and media when it comes to this because I promise you for everyone who's reached out to me and said you're doing so well in what you do it is because I took the leave and I put myself out there in this exact way with working with Selena Sue and her team. Um, even Selena, before she even crafted her very first offer in her business, she was featured in Forbes. So she put herself out there. So she wasn't even ready. Um, Tatum's not ready, by, but she's still putting herself out there. We're still working on things with you. So it's like, just take the leap because you don't know who's going to see your name or your business and you don't know what's going to come your way. Um, so manifest that for yourself and take action and remember um, that add a girl and give yourself that pat on the back. And um, if you, again, the link to join the masterclass as well as if you're ready to join Impact the Million to snack up all those fast acts and bonuses as well as uh, Tatum and mine for incredible bonuses too. Um, the links are in both of our bios on Instagram, all over my Facebook pages, um, or send us a message and we'll send it to you directly. If you have any questions at all, still reach out to us. I'm happy to share more experience in packing millions or anything with you. Um, and yeah, so I know right now is a time that everyone is kind of going a little bit crazy because we're all locked in our houses. Um, but I hope that Tatum and my conversation gave you a little bit of inspiration for yourself um, and gave you a little bit of a motivation to go out and not go out literally, but to go and do something for yourself and your business um, and to take the leap and get outside of your comfort zone in some sort and learn something new and do something that your business and you deserve. Um, so we look forward to hearing from you guys and seeing you guys all in Impact Millions and we will see you soon. Yes. Bye, guys.